It was 1927 when former prostitute turned housekeeper Eva Dugan was working for the wealthy, reclusive, and cheap rancher Andrew Mathis when he goes missing. Eva hits the road herself. She eventually was found in White Plains, New York. According to legend, when Mathis's body is finally found in a shallow grave a year later, Eva is charged, tried, convicted, and sentenced to death by hanging. As the tale goes, she was defiant to the end. Eva scorned jurors with this comment. At least I'll die with my boots on. As it turns out, Eva Dugan and Jody Arias have a few things in common. Eva, like Jody, conducted interviews with the press behind bars. It almost seems like the world is a darker place now. Like Jody, who sells her artwork from jail, Eva sold embroidered handkerchiefs that she knitted while in prison. And as reported, Eva and Jody shared thoughts of committing suicide. I wanted to kill myself. And perhaps, like Jody, when men like you are screaming at me or grilling me, it makes my brain scramble. Eva too could be flippant. As she walked to the gallows in 1930, she allegedly laughed while singing the popular tune of the time, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm on my way. According to newspaper accounts, the noose was placed around her neck with no final words from Eva. The trap was sprung, then at the end of the drop, the rope snapped. Eva was unexpectedly decapitated and the gory scene horrified witnesses, some even fainted. As a result of the Eva Dugan shocking incident, the state switched from hanging murderers to gassing them to death. 